Are you on a vegan diet and find yourself suffering from anxiety, insomnia, constipation, gassiness, irritable bowel syndrome, or in general, spaciness? In a previous video, we talked about why the Vata body type is the least suitable on a vegan diet. If you haven't seen that, do check it out over here. I'll also link it in the description box below. And today, as promised, I'm going to share with you a few simple Ayurveda lifestyle tips that you can incorporate into your life to sustain a vegan diet without compromising your health. Hello everyone! So let's dive into how you can be Vata and vegan. So if you have been watching my videos for a while or following me on Instagram, which you should if you haven't already, you would know that how we feel in general is a reflection of our gut health. So of course, I'm going to talk about food intake. Vata is cold and dry and light, so you want grounding vegetables. So heavier root vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, butternut squash, of course, heavier fruits as well like avocados, bananas, are really good nuts and seeds to really help give us volume in the body to help balance out the dryness, the lightness, and the cold. So speaking of cold, of course, for a Vata person, there's no such thing as raw till four. If you want to go vegan, choose warm, mushy, and liquidified foods. In summertime, maybe when it's really warm and fire element is really high in the environment to help us digest raw vegetables. Of course, you can have your salads in summer and I actually don't think you would even crave salads in winter if you are a vata body type. And Ayurveda encourages us to eat seasonally and it makes so much sense because pumpkin, butternut squash, all of these are available throughout autumn. It makes so much sense to eat something that grows during the season because if the environment supports the growth of this fruit or vegetables, when we eat them, it would support us living in this environment. So when it comes to fruits, you want to choose sweet fruits over sour fruits and juicy fruits over dry fruits. Vegetables tend to aggravate vata because they are dry, they are light, they are bitter and astringent, which is very good to scrub out additional earth and water from the body. But for a vata body type, make sure to cook your vegetables with some oil and some salt to help you digest and absorb better. Next are beans. If a bean needs to be soaked overnight to be cooked under 30 minutes, then it's a little bit too hard for your body to digest. If you can take the dry beans out and cook them without soaking within 30 minutes, then it is an easily digestible bean for you. But having said that, of course you can have some different types of beans, just make sure to play with spices. They not only help with digestion, they also add a lot of flavor to our meals. For a vata person, it's important to eat three meals a day at regular times. And when it comes to dinner, try to eat it three hours before bedtime. Finish your dinner three hours before bedtime. Two hours, you can still play around with that but try to keep it as far away from bedtime as possible. So now moving on to beverages, coffee. Coffee is very drying, it's dehydrating, diuretic, and it really aggravates vata because it's also a stimulant. Vata is already very <laughs> easily excitable and anxious all the time, so coffee is going to further aggravate that. If you really, really need your coffee, try to keep it to one serving a day. And when it comes to beverages, no iced drinks. Ice creams, keep it to summer. And now that food and drinks are out of the way, we want to talk a little bit about lifestyle tips when it comes to exercise. Because Vata is already fast, 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 you want to choose something that is slow, slow, slow. So. Um, Yoga is good, Qigong, Tai Chi, uh, Stroll, um, 
brisk walking but nothing really really fast like running you can do that once in a while of course but it's better to do something that balances out what we already are so try to do slow yoga go slowly go with your breath and of course incorporate meditation into your days if you can you should you have time you, you have time make make some time five minutes ten minutes it's better than nothing and of course avianga which is oiling your whole body with warm sesame oil sesame oil is the best choice for vata you want to massage from your head down to your toe i have a video on that here where i just demonstrate how you should massage your body from head to toe you don't have to take a very long time five minutes you can get from head to toe but sometimes if you have more time it's good to take your time to massage the oil into the body smoking is a big no-no smoking is really aggravating vata it's really drying and really 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 bad for a vata person of course for anybody else as well but especially if you're vata totally avoid smoking so here are all my tips on how you can sustain your vegan diet and practice a vegan lifestyle without compromising your health. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And leave me a comment below if you have other tips that I have missed out and share it with your friends, especially those who are very slim, very slender and finding some health problems going on on a vegan lifestyle so do share it with them and i hope it helps someone thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye